this will be knee three. Now this is the front of the book that I just showed you before, which is not only the Tao Te Ching, but the Hua Hu Ching. And then on the back of the book, of course, there's this picture. But this section right down here is said about Hua Ching Ni. Now I'm going to read that to you because it's very, very important and it gives you some idea about the tradition from which he comes. So I will read that and it says, Hua Ching Ni is fully acknowledged and empowered by a true teacher of natural spiritual truth by his own spiritual attainment rather than by external authority. He is a model of spiritual achievement through spiritual self-cultivation. He is also heir to the wisdom transmitted through an unbroken succession of numberless generations of masters dating back to many generations before Christ. As a young boy, he was educated in hermits in the high mountains in China, fully achieving all aspects of ancient religious promotion, promotion. His teachings and integral truth, which aim to serve, produced the years of his spiritual cultivation and offers to the people to support them on their own paths. Now, also, his um, he did all kinds of religious retreats and so on to get to that achievement. That's why what he does is, I would say, more subtle, that is to say, more carefully crafted word-wise when you go through his book than most of them. Now, that second section that I told you about was somewhat lost. When you get in there, even though it's about something Hua uh, Hu Ching, you'll notice there's number 61 here, 61, and in there you also get a lot about the I Ching, because here you see what are called trigrams in the I Ching, and that symbol right there, which is the integration of the two was called Tai Chai, T-A-I-C-H-I, Tai Chai. Now, we will not go into that right now, but this gives you some idea of his achievement.